Today's yoga is yin yoga for summer and you will need bolster and maybe blocks for this practice if you don't have those you can use thick blanket instead and maybe some pillows and we start by sleeping butterfly which means that you place the bolster or blanket behind your back and then lie on your bolster make sure that your shoulder blades are firmly on the surface and your shoulders are relaxed and then open your knees wide apart place the soles of your feet together and then lift your arms onto your shoulder level maybe not in your chin a little and then just follow your breaths we are now slowly moving toward the summer or actually we are already in the summer season it has been really cold here in finland so it it seems like it's just starting but this is the time of joy and openness the time that we are full of energy and the element of this season is fire and with that element our visions and our plans or the seeds that we have planted begin to bring fruit into being or they are kind of starting to fulfill and it is good to know that we all have the ability to experience joy in our lives but also we have the ability to acknowledge that all of that is already within us. That joy, that happiness, it's already in us. And we don't need anything from outside to experience happiness. And with this practice, we are opening our bodies to kind of move closer toward our core, toward our innermost being, closer to our hearts, and that way we are increasing the feelings of happiness and also acceptance, harmony, peace and balance. And the question I want to ask you at this point of the practice is how you would like to experience joy in your life today, next week, or during your life in general. Continue on breathing here a few moments with these words in mind.
slowly you can start to bring your knees toward each other, let them lean to each other and just pause for a little while. And then come up to seated. You can remove your bolster away and then come on to your all fours. Make sure that your wrists are under your shoulders and your knees are under your hips. And then inhale your right arm up and bring it underneath your left arm. Bring the upper arm to your mat, bringing your head onto your mat, letting your rest, left hand also rest on your mat and just breathe and relax. Breathe more space on the back of your heart. On the back side of your right shoulder and as you exhale release any unwanted sensations or feelings that are kind of preventing you for being happy in your life And then you can slowly start to lift yourself up. Come back to your all fours and we are moving on to other side. So inhale your left arm up, place it on your right arm, bringing the left upper arm onto your mat, bringing your head onto your mat and placing your right hand firmly onto your mat, breathing in feeling the sensations on the left side of your uh, shoulder or the back of your shoulder on your left shoulder blades. Breathing in, making more space on the back of your heart on this side and breathing out, releasing anything and everything that is preventing you from feeling joy in your life.
of the next exhalation you can start to lift yourself up and come to your uh, belly we are coming to sphinx and we are combining this with half frog so place your forearms onto your mat make sure that your elbows are under your shoulders and then bend your right knee onto your side so the knee and the side of your shin and the inner edge of your foot are resting on on your mat or maybe on the floor make sure that your neck is straight and long and even though this is a little bit more active uh, when talking about yin poses try to relax as much as you can breathing in fully and exhaling completely And then after the next exhalation you can start to releasing your right leg and moving on the left side placing your left or bending your left knee and bringing the inner edge of your foot to the floor still breathing full breaths in and out enjoying how the breath is moving your body, how your breath is actually enabling for enabling your body to open more fully. We have a few more breaths here. And then you can start to releasing yourself come lie down for a little while just resetting pausing from the previous poses 
giving your body time to just like relax a bit from the mild stress that we are creating with these poses. And then you can start to placing your palms under your shoulders. We are coming to seal, so we are lifting ourselves up, uh, straightening our arms. Place your uh, shoelaces onto your mat and lift yourself up. Make sure that your shoulders are back and down and make sure that your neck is straight and long. And you can, of course, close your eyes and just feel the sensations of your body while you are breathing in and while you are breathing out. We are only staying here for a few moments. In general, these poses that we are doing today, we are spending uh, two to five minutes on them. Then you can start to release in yourself. And then you can remain on your belly and make sure that your right arm is staying on your side, rolling the shoulder back and down. And then lift your left leg over your right leg. Your right leg can be bended and you can also place your left hand behind your back so you can also open your left shoulder, uh, no, left side of your um, chest a little but bringing your shoulder blades left side also closer to your right. So opening this way your chest, your heart if this is too intense, you can leave your left hand um, somewhere near your face and you can have your knees bended and on top of each other. Just breathe in fully. And exhale completely. And then you can start to release yourself 
and compact your all fours then sit onto your heels and come to your child's pose for a little while just a few moments to reflect reset both from the last pose And then come back to your all fours. We are moving on to melting heart. So bringing your knees under your hips and then start to walk your hands forward. So eventually you are bringing your chest onto the floor and your chin maybe also and your arms are resting onto your mat. Uh, you can maybe try what is the gap in between your hands are your hands like in shoulder width width or is it a little bit wider also if you need you can place the bolster under your belly so it's a little bit more gentle way to stay here whichever way you are in here just breathe in Breathing in space into your body and breathing out any, atten any tension, any unwanted feelings, relaxing. Then you can start to lift yourself up and again come to your child's pose for a little while. Sit onto your heels and place your forehead onto the floor. Reset. Then come lie on your belly again. Your left hand is the one that stays on your side now. Make sure that your shoulder is back and down. And then you can start to turn onto your left side. Your left leg remains straight and your right leg comes over your left. Knee bend it. And also your right hand can, can come behind your back. If this is too intense, you can keep your left leg a little bit bended and you can have your right leg on top of your left and your left hand 
in front of your face. Just enjoy the feelings, however you experience them. If you feel negative sensations, try to let go of those sensations, knowing that we all have that thing within us that we can experience joy and happiness. And then you can start to release yourself and come back, lie on your belly, let your head rest on your hands or maybe forehead on your mat only. Just again, reset and relax. Letting the po uh, pose really sink in, in this time of pausing and resetting. And then you can lift yourself up and come sit sit up and have your legs wide apart make sure that your toes are pointing toward the ceiling and we are coming to side bends from here so you can have your bolster to help you and we are bending over our left leg bringing our ha head resting on our hands and you can also lift up your right arm and interlace your fingers behind your head. Just making sure that your chest is open here. And making sure that you feel sensations on the right side of your body. We are now making space on our sides and that way eventually we are also making space in our heart area.
Then you can start to lift yourself up. And we are switching sides. Bringing your right elbow on your bolster, letting your head rest on your hand, and then bringing your left hand also behind your head and maybe interlace your fingers behind your head. Bringing more space on our left side, breathing in fully, breathing out completely. you can start to lift yourself up again and uh, remove the bolster away from your mat and come lie on your back and then bring your right leg over your left and then drop your knees to your left side and you can maybe place the bolster under your feet if needed Make sure that both of your shoulder blades are firmly on your mat and lift your arms onto your shoulder level. Maybe turning your head away from your feet. Closing your eyes. Enjoying this spinal twist. Breathing in fully and breathing out completely. Feeling the feelings of joy that your spine can bend this way. It is like a tiny miracle, if you really think about it.
and then you can start to lift your legs back to center and then we are ready to switch side lift your left leg over your right let your knees drop onto your right side your arms still on your shoulder level your shoulder blades still firmly on your mat and maybe turning your head away from your feet breathing in fully and exhaling completely letting your breath move your body And then lifting our legs back to center and we have one more pose to go before our Savasana and you will need the a block for this pose and if you have to you can place one under your shoulder blades and this second high level and one can be under your head and the lowest level and you can leave your legs straight making sure that you are comfortable here so one block under your shoulder shoulder blades and one block under your head if you only have one block then use that under your shoulder blades on the lowest lowest level breathing in fully Enjoying how this pose opens your chest, widening your heart, enabling you to experience greater joy and happiness in your life.
and then we are lifting ourselves up, removing the bo uh, blocks and then come light on your back to your Savasana, opening your feet a little bit outward, letting your arms rest on your sides, nodding your chin in a little, just letting everything melt towards your mat, breath by breath, feeling your body weight heavier and heavier, feeling yourself more and more relaxed. Today goes like this. In the midst of winter, I found there was within me an invincible summer. Slowly, you can start to wake yourself up, stretching yourself really long, turning onto your right side letting your head rest on your hands just pausing just feeling how you feel at this point then slowly start lifting yourself up to seated making sure that your spine is straight and long chest open saying thank you for yourself to this practice and then placing your palms onto your heart center lifting your thumbs in between your brows making a little bow the light within me honors the light within you namaste and we see each other again next time and next time we are actually doing yin yoga for upper body only so stay tuned and remember if you haven't already to comment like and subscribe to this channel Bye now.